I'm getting ready to take this axle nut off. This is on my E70 X5. However, it's the same on all BMWs. BMW says to unstake these before you take them off. So we're going to do our best to do that with one of these chisels. That's about all you have to do to unstake these. You can see it just opened up a gap. A little bit more noticeable down here, just so that it slips past where it was staked in when we go to actually remove the nut. I will say, if I'm not reusing the axle, I generally don't bother with unstaking them. If you throw an impact on this, it will take these nuts right off. If you don't already have a set of axle sockets, I can recommend this set off of Amazon, and I'll link it in the description. So this is pretty comprehensive. You can see it goes from 29 millimeters up to about 39 millimeters. It seems to include most of the common sizes used on these BMWs. So for the X5, we're actually going to be using this one, which is a 36 millimeter. However, I've used others. Uh, they do come in this plastic with oil in them to keep them from rusting. So don't think it's like cheap packaging. This is actually intended to protect the sockets. Okay, we got our 36 millimeter on the impact. Let's try this. Okay, I think it slowed down. This is how easy it is to take these things off. It's off. I'm not gonna lie, that one did not come off nearly as easily as the other ones have done in my experience. This is the donor car, 328i. Looks like these axles have been out once, so maybe these will be easier, we'll see. The important bit here is, if we look at this, there's a piece of aluminum right there. That aluminum keeps it from, is softer than the axle, so it will not mushroom out the axle when you hit it. This is an E60 M5, uh, like tripod end of a drive shaft to cut off and use in the race car. And this is just your standard um, tool to install wheels. I've got a couple threads in. This actually will not slide past the end of this. The knurling actually keeps it on, but it's not necessary. So anyway, you stick it on here, you get tight, you tap it like that, and then you can hit it pretty hard. Okay, the axle is actually loose on this car, so it will come out the way it is right now. On the other one, I really had to hit it pretty hard to break it loose. So this is pretty easy, but this is the tool that I use to remove axles without damaging them. Here's a little demo on this drive shaft puller kit. I believe this is from Amazon. You can see this is from CTA Tools, and it is item number 5056. When you open it up inside, you're gonna have your puller here. I already adjusted it so it no longer fits in the case, along with the selection of sockets that have a very thin wall on the end. Now the way this works is if we come over to our axle that we want to install here, even though it's called a drive shaft puller, I guess these are still drive shafts. You can see this doesn't want to come through anymore. If I push on it, it does not want to come through. And do not hammer on the end of these caps. These are just sheet metal caps that are designed to retain grease inside of your CV joints back here. They're not solid, so do not hammer on them. Also, if you hammer on these, you can damage the CV joint balls that are inside and just the entire assembly in general. So instead, you take the socket, in this case it's an E36, and it uses an M24 by 1.5 socket. So it fits right inside of here, and you can spin it on by hand. It doesn't really have to be super tight, but make sure you get enough engagement, you're not gonna damage anything. Then if we take our puller, using my lathe as a workbench, probably not ideal, but you can see it has this machine surface here that will meet up against this ball bearing on the back and this side will interface against the wheel. So the way this works is this threads inside and then you'd have that piece in between and it will pull its way out. So we're going to install that real quick. So now you thread the rod inside and back this off a little bit, make sure it engages. Okay, so it's engaged, and now you can see this is kind of floppy. We want to tighten the nut down until it's on there, nice and straight. Make sure it's seated correctly. 
and this nut is a 24 millimeter nut. So now you take your 24 millimeter wrench, put it around the nut, and then you can start to pull the axle through. And it's super easy. So if we come to the other side, you can see it pulling through. I don't know if it comes off on camera, but it's coming through as I pull it. Okay, it just stopped. I felt it stop, it was a hard stop. We're gonna back this off and we're gonna take this assembly off. Okay, you can see the thin wall sockets much further through. We're gonna take the thin wall socket off. And voila, you have an axle that came through with no damage. Again, that is CTA Tools 5056, and I'll include a link in the description. I highly recommend this. We've destroyed a number of axles trying to do it the wrong way. We're trying to make makeshift parts. This makes the job a complete cakewalk. Trust me, you want this tool set. After you have the axle pulled through, you need to be sure to install a brand new axle nut. These are one-time use. Then what you do with the axle nut is it spins onto the axle, of course. You torque it to spec. And once it's torqued to spec, which this will vary depending on your vehicle, you have to take a cold chisel and you knock in this ridge in two places. Right here, you can see where it will butt up against that little cut into the axle itself, and then right up there as well. 